with a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Mario Tennis Power Tour. In the last video, I promised we'd start the island open, but I'm afraid we can't because there's another mandatory Bruce episode. Yeah, you don't want to see it, I don't want to do it, but I'm a completionist. It's got to be complete. Hey, you want to have a Netflix contest with me? If you're accepting my challenge, then you must be good at net play! Yo! This contest will show you who's net play is better! Let me explain the rules! Yeah, remember this one that I couldn't beat way back when? I don't know how it... I, well, it's pretty easy now. My stats just weren't high enough for me to do it as effectively. But now, I'm very able to just clear it. So... Let's get on with it. So the point of this is... Yeah, you're allowed to take your first serve or return from in the green bit. Then you've got to run to the blue bit and just have a volley off from there. You let the ball touch the ground, then you've failed. If you, let, if you return the ball from in the green bit, you've failed. But, I've found a rather good way to do this. Basically, just use a flat shot return every time he serves, and if your stats are high enough, you'll just score every time. So we're already at a deuce situation. Yeah, I'm, when I'm serving, I'm not very good at this, so I'm gonna go back and forth from a deuce and advantage. But yeah, every alternate shot, I can get a guaranteed win, I just use a flat shot and he can't stop it. But now I've got the advantage, so I'm just going to return it here. And then that's one game. you got to win two games to win the set, and then you're done. So, like, he's going to score there, of course. I basically knew that, but I'm going to equalise. So we're just going to get into another deuce situation, and just keep going until I eventually get the advantage. That might be a while, but we'll just have to see. So, no point in just talking about the game, there's a bit of news instead. So, Wii U Media Briefing was yesterday, and that gave me a real dilemma. Because the Wii U will be released in two packages. A white one, which will be cheaper, and a black one, which will be more expensive. It'll have 32 gigabytes of memory rather than the white Wii U having 8 gigabytes. It comes with a charging cradle for the gamepad, a stand to put the console in, and a stand to put the Wii U gamepad in. Yeah, and also a year's worth of discounts on the eShop. 10%. So yeah, the thing is, I don't use charging cradles, I used my 3DS charging cradle once, then I realised it was pointless and got rid of it. Well, I haven't gotten rid of it, it's just been put away. Not desperate for a stand or game 7 match. Oh yeah, I suppose I better voice this guy, then I'll go back to talking about what I was talking about. I'm gonna give those level ups to Sky and Clay, net patch, uh, net patch. Oh snap, I lost leg! Oh that is how wow, bad you is no pushover that beat me at net play! Oh man, how could that happen? Just watch, I will beat you one of these days! You can put my word on it, I will maim you! Or you can count on it! Alright, so let's talk to Goose. Have you kept it? Oh, never mind. So. We're endorsing Bruce in challenge. Two. One thing I didn't realise... Yeah, I'm actually post-commentating this episode. Because last time I was here I was mainly just talking about the game and it wasn't very entertaining. I figured for this one I'd just post-commentate some pre-recorded footage and then I can just keep talking for the whole time. Obviously for the Island Open it's going back to live, this is just a one-off thing. But yeah, so what I didn't realise, you actually, for your third match against Bruce, you actually do do a service ace contest. Like not the match after, uh, not the hit after the serve, you actually 
try for a service ace, which I had no idea about. But yeah, you are expected to do that. I, I tried saying no to see if we could ask for what we'd always been doing, but no. No matter what I did, we have to do a service ace. And understandably, this is very, very hard. Like, harder than instinct drill by a long way. I don't actually know how it's supposed to be possible. Basically, all you can level up throughout the game is serve if you want to beat this. Now, when you're leveling up, no, no top spin, no slice. I have to put it on, on serve just for the sake of this one side game. But I gotta beat Bruce. Like, I've been trying this off screen and I still can't do it. I mean, you have to get two service aces in one match. And that's just out of anyone's league, surely. So instead, I'm gonna challenge this guy, the one who came back from his long journey. And so, back to talking about. So yeah, not desperate for a stand, don't need a charging cradle. I'm gonna lay down my Wii U on its side, even if it does have a stand. So the Wii U, the rep, the Wii is gonna be stood up. Or the Wii U will be laid down next to it. Basically, uh, what am I saying? Uh, never mind then, I don't know what I was about to say. But yeah, the another advantage of the black Wii, well, not an advantage, but obviously the cheap one's white, the expensive one's black, and I actually prefer white to black. Like, when I first saw the two consoles at E3 this year, I'm like, everyone's wanting a black one, I'm getting a white one, they're cooler. And I still prefer white now, but now that, now that the black is worth more money, and I've got a, and if I've got a white one, it's gonna look a bit naff, isn't it? Like, oh, you got a white one? You're a cheapskate. Well, yeah, like I don't need any of the black ways and the additional uh, things. I mean, Wii U discs will hold a maximum of 25 uh, something bytes. That was pretty easy, by the way. Yeah, something bytes and. The cheap Wii U has 8GB memory, so that gives me 36 games before I run out of memory if they use all the memory on the disc. So, I'm not strapped at all. And he's going back to the mountain. Ah, uh, yeah. But yeah, I'm not strapped for memory at all. So, the only advantage to getting a black Wii U would just be something to show off. I tried leaving the area and come back to see if Bruce would challenge me to something reasonable. But spoilers, he won't. But yeah, uh, the black Wii U will come with Nintendo Land, which is one good thing, but one thing I do fear is that it might come in one of those cardboard sleeves like Wii Sports does, or New Super Mario Bros. Wii when it comes with the 25th anniversary. But, oh, what do you know, that's all the footage, so... Never mind then, looks like I'm ended the video.